Vision 6. Love like ours does not often occur in life. I keep thinking you will take the bus to come see me. Enter Port Authority up the escalator. I will find you at gate 319. Standing in the distance with your red and white cane, turquoise leather luggage that always attracts compliments. Mom, here I am, I shout from across the room. You smile, I quicken my pace, and in a few minutes we are glued together. The most satisfying embrace. You fold your cane and grab my right elbow in the familiar way I miss. I lead you forward down steps. We climb curbs, maneuver crowds, hail taxis. I study the expression of strangers' faces as we barrel towards them. In Times Square, weave our way through clusters to pick out homemade jewelry on the streets of Soho. Blind woman, daughter, turquoise, bag, cane. I am transferred back in time. We are at the office in Tom's River in New Jersey. You pick the fried shrimp, I choose the meat lasagna. The fear is not there, you tell me, in the dimly lit restaurant where we tend to get the same wait waitress. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. I am designing dresses and capes and handbags. How can this be, I think to myself. What, mom? Listen, I have a life, I'm busy where I am now. Did you find any man? Maybe. What does maybe mean? Okay, listen, I've been on one date, Jen. Really? <laughs> that is awesome. And then suddenly she's gone. Wait, what if I need advice, Mom? Come back. My mom comes through the door of my apartment. 2L. Long white gauze dress, no cane, a sharp black blazer. Her hair is very blonde, like Christmas, 1996. I put on my turquoise scarf because we are going out. We, si we sip scotch sours at Fontana's Bar in Chinatown, the place where she witnessed the Barons rock out downstairs. I love that she would travel from Jersey to hang out with me and all of my friends. Mom, it's almost a month until my wedding day. I need you to help me per pick out the perfect clutch, provide hugs, guidance over my vows. What about changing my last name? She can't believe it was over eight years ago that she first met Chris a.k.a. drummer boy. She knew he was the perfect match for me when she ate lunch with him at the TikTok diner. <laughs> she knows I'm nervous and excited that Dad is going to be walking me down the aisle. You've taken many steps towards peace with your father. Jennifer Dawn, celebrate my baby doll. I am so proud to be your daughter. I will always be celebrating with you. All of life is a chance, she tells me, whether it's falling in love or delivering a child. Take pleasure in the romance and challenges life pre presents. Do not attempt to predict where it is all going, except the present. And this is one by my mom that I love to read. It's one of my favorites. Fetish by Patty Harmon. The power is inside of me, deep, deep inside. Everyone has power unique to them. I want to discover mine, to never forget I have it, to fully use it in my life. I want to find the parts of me I've never met, the talents never seen before, the intelligence never used. Maybe I will write a song, play it, sing it. The romantic part of me will live in the oceans, rivers, lakes, on fishing trips, in Colorado mountains on Christmas Eves and New Year's Eves, in birthday candles and anniversary poems. It will live, not merely exist in daydreams. I will be what I can be, but what I am not yet. I will love more easily, forgive more readily, judge less freely, share more often, listen quietly and quietly hear my thoughts. On impulse, I will do and not wait to wish I'd done it. All things will not have thought before action, Unplanned, uncounted, unworried, unpacked, I will go. I will still cry and laugh, embrace and hide, but without so often looking back to judge myself. Because my power will come from me, changing me, and so changing the world. Because sometimes I believe the world is only me and my reactions. Okay. Okay.